Fishing for River Monsters Season 3, Episode 2. That means this whole series has started. If you guys haven't seen Episode 1, I want you guys to go back and watch it. A lot of you guys have been commenting, Noah, go fishing with a subscriber. Introduce yourself. What's up? Name's Brandon. Here to fish. That's about it. He's just here to fish. We're here to catch them, boys. Catch them all. And, uh, catch some good ones. And how I met him, I actually ended up meeting him at Dick Sporting Goods. He works at Dick Sporting Goods. And uh, when did I meet you? Like a year ago? I think, right? A good bit. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. But I met him a good while ago, and we've been talking about going fishing. And, uh, you know, I was coming out on the river today. I was like, episode two. And what better way to start episode two with bringing a subscriber out? And you're probably going to see him a lot more often. We're uh, going to plan on coming out here more. And also, he said he's got some places for, like, kayaks and stuff that we might go fishing at. If you guys want to see that, be sure to hit that like button. But that reminds me, also hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see another episode, give this video to 5,000 likes. We are sitting down in this beautiful cut out here on the Savannah River. Yes, episode two is on the Savannah River. On one of the recent ones, I want to get out on the Ogeechee. Maybe you'll come along with me if you want to. We'll see. We'll I'll figure something out. And uh, yeah, we're going to be coming back into these cuts. We're going to be watching the tide. We're in all tidal water. One thing I want to know from you guys is like, what do you want to see in this series? Like what, like leave suggestions down below. Like anything you want me to talk about, you know, I'm always going to be talking about how we're catching the fish, the rod, the baits, the line, everything that I'm using, why I'm using it, you know, why these fish are hanging on this cover here instead of out there, you know, why they're in this cut because the water temp or maybe the conditions today are a little cloudy so maybe the fish are going to be roaming um let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any suggestions to make this series even better all right so we're going to talk about the weapons that we're bringing out today last episode was mainly like the prawn the stroker crawl texas rig style don't get me wrong we're going to be throwing that today but you know i got a few weapons in the arsenal so i actually have a divine swim jig right here this one's in white it's got some little purple accents on it with the divine swim bait trailer and this is actually on my new mach 2 this is the new and improved series by lose the new mach 2 right here as you guys can tell it's a little bit different than the last one i had you know instead of just the green it's got like the black swirls pretty sweet combo i had this on 15 pound floor garbon that's my first one so with that swim jig being more of a subtle approach i actually have a spinner bait on this one which has a big Colorado blade on it and that's gonna go through that muddy water and put off that vibration and uh, you know like I said just a couple days after a cold front these fish may be a little bit slower that swim jig might work um, but if we're really wanting to piss those fish off put off more vibration if they're active enough then the spinner bait is gonna be a go-to and that one's just you know white with chartreuse this is on the mock crush also on 15 pound foil carbon and here is the money machine the pro ti combo right here this is 15 pound floor carbon most of these i'd rather be running 17 um, but that's just what i had to spool these up with and uh, by the way this had about a full spool on it until coming out on the river one day that's what ends up happening out here um this is a basic texas rig i got the prawn on and that one's actually green pumpkin with blue flake i'll be using the black and blue as well we'll kind of be experimenting depending on what lakes and creeks we go into um, depending on the water clarity and that'd be how i choose the color out and lastly i actually have the old mock smash you guys have been loving it you guys have been commenting about it it's a beautiful rod and reel combo for an awesome price and i actually have the curve 55 and this is the muddy water crawl that is my favorite color in that crankbait i absolutely love it especially on the river um, it's just the perfect color to catch those fish this is on 15 pound fluorocarbon but let me tell you if you guys are going to be cranking i highly suggest around 10 to 12 pound that's usually what i use um but this one i have 15 because that's all i have on today but this combo is great for you know crankbait jerkbait that's usually what i stick to on this one but it can also be good for like a little worm or a crawl so those are all the combos that we're going to be whipping out today throughout the day we will change up the baits and adjust to the conditions and how the fish are acting right before we hop into this be sure to go check out the big bass energy merchant and all the other clothing links below anybody who purchases the clothing thank you so much not only is it creating the big bass energy movement or kicking their bass movement as a whole but it really helps me with the traveling and the gas money and like the hundred dollars i ended up putting in the boat this morning uh to get us around for this episode but uh yeah let's go ahead and hop into it Let's do this. Let's just fish through this right here. I'm throwing the edge of that and then we'll swap over. There he is, right there. 
little baby. Little Twinkie. Well, that's something to start, right? <laughs> that's something. A little fat guy, a little chunky dude. There we go. Yeah, he got a little belly on him. He ain't big, guys, but you know, always like I say, first fish today, get our monkey off her back. We started off in the back of this little lake. We like to call them lakes, lake, creek, pond, whatever you want to call it, as the tide was going down. And now we're pushing out towards the mouth. And there we go, first bite right there. This is about where we thought we were going to start getting them at. Small little guy. Oh, mudfish. I just put a new line on this reel. Oh, jeez, dude, jeez. What in the heck? Dude, first cast on the swim jig. That's not a bad one. <laughs> what? Look at that one. First cast in the pads, in the dead pads. What in the world? Look at that, guys. I just put the first cast. I told myself I just put a line on this reel. First cast on the new Mach 2, right there, about a pound and a half. That's a beautiful one. God, dude, I, he hit it so hard that I didn't know he had it. He was right, on, yeah, right on that stump. You see that, guys? Mmm. We gonna put him in the box because we're gonna get us a little cool picture later today. <laughs> I bet. So this is right by your house? Yeah, it's like... Oh! Golly! I think it's a bass. Almost definite, dude. Yep, it is. Nope, what? That's a fatty. Look at the fat guy, dude, in the swamp. <laughs> Gosh. That's a fat guy, a fat stubby one. Oh, he was in the slop right there. That's what you're talking about, look. Small mouth, fat body. <laughs> so we just pulled up into this little lake right here. Right now it's low tide. So what happens is those fish that were in the back of this lake, they start to move out to the mouth. Right here we're at the mouth, as you guys can tell, here's one corner, here's another. When the tide's low, when those fish pull out, they're gonna get on all of this cover that's along the bank. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this prawn on a Texas rig. I don't have it pegged at all right there. I'm throwing it around this cover. What tends to happen is when it goes low tide, I feel as if those fish really start to tuck up on that cover a lot better. Um, when it's high tide, you know, those fish are pushing back there and there's so much more water in the back of those spots. God, you have me right there. There's so much more water in the back of those spots that uh, this fish can really be anywhere. Look at that. Stole my tail right there. Let's throw it back in there so we'll eat it right there you guys can still see that current going by too they're eating weird today too it's a couple of days after that cold front when i when i tend to see is that post cold front days usually like two or three days after it seems as if they don't want to eat right and that's exactly what they're doing today but uh we're going to come down here start fishing the mouth see if we can catch some big ones he hit it so hard look at this it wrapped around this my line snapped popped so hard it went <laughs> Dude, I was going to straight up hook that tree. I didn't care. It... You got one? Oh, snap. He was there. Yeah. Little guy. Little guy. B got his first fish today. That's right. First one of the day. He ain't big, but ain't you big. know, you just, start somewhere. Just a start. It's fishing for river monsters, man. That's right. It's a process. That's, that's the real monster. Right? <laughs> Good job, man. He said he was on that tree. He was there. I yeah. Think he was right here. Right, he's what? Right about there, he was, right? Uh, he was actually closer to that bank. I pitched up near that uh, cypress tree over there. He just came off right there, guys. I was coming off to get undone, and before I washed it out, he was flipping a few up there. And Bingo, man. First fish. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that thing looked big for a minute. That hooks it. A little, little fat guy. Dude, you set the trap on him. I thought you had something, something just, large. Got a little fat belly, a <laughs> small mouth. How they are? These he's guys. honestly a little skinny guy, ain't he? Yeah, he's got a little something on top of his mouth. See that? What is that? 
Oh, man. It's weird. We got a little red. You just got a little lipstick on up at the top right there. Yeah. Little fat guy. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, something oh, messing with him. Somebody been beating up on him. Probably his girlfriend. <laughs> This ex, is his ex girlfriend, man. <laughs> this is ex girlfriend. Yeah, we're getting back in the water, though. That's a pretty one. It's your second one. My bad. Oh, hello. <laughs> Dude, that hit just felt too good. That was just like. You know how they thump it? Have <laughs> one heart. Oh, he's behind me, dude. He followed me in. Mudfish just followed me in right there. I've never seen that in my life. Oh, striper, stripers, dude, like crazy. Oh, dude, it was like a hundred of them. That's what it was. Bro, throw your crankbait. There was like 10 of them that came up. Oh my gosh, I about had a heart attack. We were just talking about it. Boys, look at this, throw in there. Oh, freaking craziest thing. Dude, that was so freaking cool. I've never seen anything like that. Not freaking me out. Damn. Oh, scary. What the hell? Golly. Hammer that spinner bait. It's not a bad one. That's what you found. Mmm. <laughs> there we go, boys. Look at that. On the spinner bait. He's barely hooked. Right here, a bunch of current pushing up on these lay downs right there to your left. And uh, man, threw that spinner bait up there. That's a good one right there. That ain't a bad river bass. Pretty guy. And we had a cool little start to this spot. Let's see. This place shallow too, man. Two foot of water. You what? Mudfish, you <laughs> dude, really, bro? You took my brand new swim uh, spinner bait. Come on, man. We were just getting on to something. I don't have any more either. Yeah, just make sure that I don't hit the boat. Are you good? I saw this goat back in the woods there. Oh no. Ooh, he spit it out. He got it. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. I thought he was a mudfish, so I barely hooks at him. And then I realized he's a little baby bass. It's getting tough, I'm not gonna lie. The bass bites are coming very slow. The mudfish bites, for instance, I come in very fast. Yo, is he big? Decent. No, oh, he ain't bad. About the same size. Yeah, yeah he ain't bit. bad. Over there. We upgrading, right? That was right after mine, guys. Just boom, right away. Back to back. Yes, I guess sir. we finally finding them. See, right here, guys. That's the mouth right here. This is still considered. So you got this like long canal stretch. And then it opens up into the lake back here. And they're still, like I said, tide goes low. And they hang off on that stuff. And then you catch beautiful fish like that. Yo, you got one. I was changing my GoPro battery. Oh, it's a bass? Yes, yeah, bass. Yo, yo, what? How big is he? Decent. Get him up to this net. I'm trying to multitask here. Mm. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one, dog. Yeah, good yo, one. yo. Dude, look how red he is. Oh my gosh. You see how red he is? Yeah. Even on his. Dang, Pull that thing out of here. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That's over cool. two. He's fat. Probably over two. <laughs> good fish. Yo. <laughs> well, you're changing the GoPro up. I thought you had a mudfish. I swear you had one. Really? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. There he is. <laughs> yeah, he's right there. Another bass, dude. They are loaded in here. That's like next cast. They're babies, though. And look how small they are. <laughs> Got you that time. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> I got you that time, buddy. Look at the nasty crap on the side of them, look. Those are river monsters, boys. Welcome to fishing for river monsters. Thank you all so much for coming on this adventure of fishing for river monsters. Episode two, season three, with my buddy B right there. Yes, sir. If you guys want to see him come back on the show, be sure to smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in a